First we need to get to the main screen of the mate. While holding the mate, press the bottom left two buttons at the same time. From this screen you have the options of Summary, Status, Setup, and Advanced. Select Advanced. Press any button to skip over the warning screen. Now press the Increase button to change your password to 141. Press Enter. Choose FX. Page 2. Page 3. Stack. If you are using only one inverter and a mate with no hub connection, you should see P00 in the upper right hand corner, because there is only one inverter in the system. P00 should be set to a master phase. Press decrease if you do not see master in the screen. If you have a hub in the system, the upper right hand corner should read P01, because your master inverter should always be plugged into port 1 of the hub. To parallel stack your inverters, that is multiple inverters on the same leg or in phase with one another, P01 should be set to 1-2PH master. Press decrease if you do not see master in the screen. Press port. Now we see P02 in the upper right hand corner. This means we are now changing the stacking setting of the inverter plugged into port 2. Because we are programming our inverters to be on the same leg, we need to change the inverter on P02 to OB slave L1. This indicates that this unit is a slave and that it is on leg 1 therefore parallel to the master inverter. You can parallel up to 10 inverters in one system this way. To series stack your inverters, that is, one inverter on each leg, a complete 180 degrees out of phase with each other, P01 should be set to 1-2 pH master, or just master. Press decrease if you do not see master in the screen. Press port. Now we see P02 in the upper right hand corner. This means we are now changing the stacking setting of the inverter plugged into port 2. There are two ways to accomplish this. If you have an X240 auto transformer installed on the output of your inverters, you will want to press increase or decrease to change this setting to OB slave L2. Or if you have grid interactive inverters or no transformer, change this to a classic slave. Series parallel stacking is when you have more than one inverter on each leg of your system. To program this, make sure P01 is in the upper right hand corner. We want to set this as a master. Press decrease if you do not see 1-2 pH master in the screen. Press port to change the port number. Depending on where you have your inverters physically wired, you will either program this as an OB slave L1 or L2. If your port 2 inverter is physically wired to the same output leg as your master inverter, it would be OB slave L1. Press increase or decrease to set this. This tells the slave that it needs to be totally in sync with the master inverter's output. Press port to change the port number to port 3. Typically this inverter will be physically wired to leg 2 of your system, therefore 180 degrees out of phase of your master inverter and therefore we will want to set it as OB slave L2. Press increase or decrease to set this. Press port to change the port number to port 4. Typically this inverter will physically be wired to leg 2 also. Press increase or decrease to set this as OB slave L2. To stack three inverters into a three phase configuration, P01 should be set to 3 pH master. Press increase to change this. Press port. Now we see P02 in the upper right hand corner. This means we are now changing the stacking setting of the inverter plugged into port 2 of the hub. Press increase or decrease to change this setting to 3 phase slave. Press port. Now we see P03 in the upper right hand corner. Press increase or decrease to change this setting to 3 phase slave. You'll also want to make sure to move the jumper in your hub from series parallel to three phase, so the slaves are assigned the appropriate phase. See our hub tutorial for instructions on how to do this. These settings are only applicable if you have a domestic model inverter. If you have an E or LA model, 
you will not need to move the jumper from the series parallel position. You have successfully stacked your inverters. Press down three times. Press main to get back to the main screen.